One question I get from time to time is, how do I intro a jazz standard? Other than, of course, just starting it, right? Counting off and then just starting. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over seven different intros that you can try out the next time you go to jam session or gig to start playing a jazz standard. Let's do this thing. What's up, Brent here from LearnJazzStandards.com, which is a blog, a podcast, and videos all geared towards helping you become a better jazz musician. And hey, if you've never subscribed on this channel before, click that subscribe button below to get locked in to everything that we have going on today. So introing a jazz standard, getting it started, is always something we should pay attention to. And there are different classic ways to start a jazz standard other than just counting it off and starting. So let's explore some options today together. Let's go over seven different ways that we can intro a jazz standard. The very first one I want to talk about is simply pedaling on the five chord. So the five chord of the song, and this would work if you're arriving on a one chord for the downbeat. So let's just say we're in the key of E flat major. The five chord is B flat seven. So specifically a sus chord is going to work really well here. So. onto the one chord. So you can do it that way, just do these sus five chords and pedal on it for a bit. It's almost like you're playing a two five there, just pedaling on the B flat, so. And then arriving on the one chord. So that's number one, pedal on the five chord. Intro number two is just to play the last eight bars of the song form. Just the last eight bars. You can also do the last four, but the last eight is quite common. So let's take the jazz standard, All of Me, for example. It starts on the four chord with the last eight bars. So it goes. So you can start it off that way, just the last four bars. And then maybe back to the five chord to signal that we're going into the top of the form, okay? So that is intro number two. Just play the last eight bars of the song form. Intro number three is a two chord vamp. Now this can work on particular songs more than others and it's not always going to be appropriate. For example, a good tune to consider doing this on would be Beatrice by Sam Rivers because it intros with an F major seven into a G flat major seven. So that sounds really good just to play over for the intro, so. Another great song to do this song would be Girl From Ipanema. Right? So this was two chord vamp at the beginning, F to F sharp, F sharp dominant, seven sharp 11 there would be a good option to do. So that's number three is two chord vamps when appropriate. Intro number four is just to improvise an entire chorus up front before playing the melody of the song. Now I hear people do this oftentimes on blueses, especially uh, up-tempo blueses, where maybe the piano player, the rhythm section will improvise a chorus up front and then go to the head. And that's a great way to do things because it kind of just introducts things with some improvisation. That's what jazz is all about. And then it goes into a theme that really latches onto the ear that everybody can hear. So that's a common one I also hear being done. Intro number five is a classic one, six, two, five chord progression. So this really works anytime you have a minor one chord or a major one chord at the very top of the song form. So if we are in the key of C major, we can go maybe to the three. Right, so 
One, six, two, five, three, six, two, five. Maybe three again. Six, two, five, one. Top of the head, right? So one, six, two, five works really well. Number six would be to simplify that chord progression a little bit and make it a one, two, five chord progression. So let's do a minor key. Let's do C minor. tritone substitution okay so it's just a one two five and you know all these things we can add substitutions like tritone substitution in there as well right we can throw into diff different variations on those chord progressions these are just the basic ones that we can use so that's number five one two five to intro the song all right last but not least some jazz standards just simply have composed intros already built into them. So one that everybody knows about is the intro to All the Things You Are. Right, and then you go into the song, right? So that's one that you could do there's obviously lots of songs that have composed intros so if you are aware of a composed intro to a song you can use that one and you can use any of the ones that we just talked about but that's just an obvious go-to if it's already a commonly used one and that one for all the things you are for example is all right, so that's just some that you can use. There are many other different variations or ways that you can intro a jazz standard. So I wanna hear from you in the comments is what other ways can you intro a jazz standard? Would love to fill up the comments there with as many different ideas from all of you and all your contributions. I look forward to seeing them. And uh, hey, listen, if you are looking to understand jazz standards more, I do wanna recommend my Learn Jazz Standards, the smart way free guide. It's just a guide that helps you learn jazz standards better. And if you think that's to be helpful for you, go to learn jazz standards, the smart and I'll send that to you for free. All right. That's all for me today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you got something out of this. Make sure you like this video. If you enjoyed it, share it. If you feel like it's going to be helpful for someone else, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.